Hi, my name is Jamie Collins and today we're here at the Universal Gym and today we're gonna go over a couple different hip thrust variations using benches. So the traditional way is actually using a flat bench and you simply just put your back on it, right about your shoulder blades, get level, and then you go down, come up and squeeze. However, I'm not the biggest fan of using this benches when I have my back's not the strongest, I've had a prior injury, as well as you can see how much of this bench is actually supporting my back. It's not a lot. So for this actual exercise, I'm actually using a decline bench and I'll show you why. So on this decline bench, I've actually propped up just a little bit to help for my ankles as well as the variation so I get actually more out of this glute exercise. So at first I'm gonna show you this exercise without any weight. So if you notice how much more of my back is actually supported by this pad, compared to that one. So on this one, by supporting more of my back, it's gonna alleviate not a lot of pressure on my lower back, so I can actually lift more weight and not have to actually use my back to lift the weight up or control on the way down. So on this one, the same thing, you wanna come up. And on this one, if you get the most out of it, you wanna squeeze your glutes. You're not wanting to arch your back. It's gonna also put strain in your back as well as you're not gonna engage your glutes as well as your hamstrings anymore. So this one, as you come up, you wanna squeeze your glutes underneath you. Squeeze, release, come up squeeze, go down, squeeze. On this one, whether you have weight or simply using your body weight, speed is more relative than how much you can actually lift. So a lot of people, they put a lot of weight on and it's going up and down way too fast, they're not controlling the weight. So let the weight control you, you control the weight. Down, up, down. So I'm gonna also add some weight to this so you can kind of see it as well. All right, so now here's a variation using some actual weight. So I'm gonna go down, use decline. You'll see a lot of my back is actually supported by this. Come up, squeeze the glutes underneath you. Don't arch your back. So go down, come up, squeeze, down, come up, squeeze, down, squeeze. All right, and I'll show you one more variation to make this exercise just a little bit more difficult to it. And so the reason why we're using a hip circle band, as you come up, your knees naturally want to buckle in. This band is for force your knees to go in, so wearing this will actually force you to have your knees out, will show, uh, um, track your hamstrings as well as your glutes more. So you get a little more bang for your buck for this exercise. So same thing, your back is fully supported. Go down, keep your knees out. You really have the focus on that now. Come up, squeeze. Squeeze the top. And that right there is a couple of variations for doing a glute bridge on a decline bench. We can also do the same on a flat bench. It's personal preference, so if it works for you, go with it.